Okay, guys, one little segment. This is on cis and trans isomers. If you didn't watch the segment before, you don't know why I'm dressed this way because uh, we all got the flu at my house. And I'm teaching you here at school. No one's here. No one will be asking any questions. Should be kind of easy. So. Cis and trans isomers, what are they? First of all, you probably don't know. You might have heard of trans fatty acids somewhere, but that's probably about it. Um, I'm going to show you how this relates to alkenes. Now, let me say up front, you won't use this much on a test. In fact, don't ever name anything cis trans unless I tell you to. That'll make this easier. We may get into it a little more later. But um, here's the deal. Whenever you drew something like 2-butene, in the past, it didn't matter if the H's were down here or on top. I never said, oh, they both got to be on the bottom or one top on the bottom. It never really mattered. But there is a way to draw two butene where it kind of does matter. So let me just show them to you. You take two butene and you draw a cheerleader version. That's this. Where this is, uh, these are still H's here, but I'm going to put whatever is on the chain like this. Um, sometimes what I do is isolate this guy right here. I say, what's hooked on to him? CH3 and H. CH3 and H. That's what I did here. This right here is called cis-2-butene. The longest chain does this, like a boomerang or like a, I don't know what, a cheerleader doing this. Trans-2-butene would look like this. Where your longest chain kind of does that transverse, you could say. Trans to butene. Now, why would you care about these two guys? Well, they're shaped differently. Um, say you're trying to smell a flower, you can only smell like the cis or not the trans. Um, if you're trying to taste something, the taste receptors in your tongue only fit cis or trans, not both. We talked about pheromones one day in WebQuest. Well, pheromones, chemical communicators, a lot of times for insects, they're either cis or they're trans. So these two guys act a little bit differently, and sometimes they're important. As far as naming them, it's always going to be when I say name cis trans. Then you'll know. Uh, let me show you another example or two. Say I wanted you to draw cis to pentene. You just had to draw it. Well, what I would have to do is start out by just drawing two pentene because I can't really convert this in my head. So then I take my two pentene, I draw a little box around here, I look at the little line I left off, and I put it in what I call cheerleading version. On this carbon I have a CH3 and an H, so I write that. On this carbon I have a CH2, CH3, and an H. Did I draw cis or trans? Oh, I drew cis because that's what I told you I wanted you to draw. Uh, trans would be if you took one side and flipped it. If there's a cis, there is a trans. So I could ask you to draw either one. Um, let me show you a tricky one. If I asked you to draw, say, um, cis or trans, one, I will just say propane. I'll squeeze it in here. When you draw it, this is what you end up with. Now, that's not cis or trans because the longest chain does this and it stops. It's like the cheerleader is going yay, but it only has one R. So it can't be cis trans. So we would say that one propene has no cis trans isomers. Um, one propene, one anything is probably going to be like that. Um, here's another thing. Can Mr. Ethan acetylene, can this be cis trans? Talk about the one arm cheerleaders. No, because you've got to have, I guess, four arms to do cis trans. It's always going to be planar, so not enough arms. There's a question in your homework, maybe, that asks about alkynes and cis trans. So, this is the cis trans. I have a couple of stupid jokes that I could stick in here. Probably shouldn't since it's going on the internet. Um, so, I'll just let you ask me about that in class. But um, basically, know the difference between cis and trans. One, the chain does this, cis, chain does that, that's trans. 
know the difference between those? That's the basic of it. And then you're good. Um, next is the segment for the swine flu people. <laughs>